India's market regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI is being criticized by firms for delaying approvals of initial public offerings in the country. Money raised from public offerings has dropped from a peak of 8.47 billion dollars in 2010 to just over 250 million dollars so far this year, according to Thomson Reuters data. Without commenting on the issue of slow approval of IPOs, SEBI officials admitted that they were under much pressure to avoid failures, likely to burn an army of retail investors who are stretching already limited resources. The regulator wants to avoid a repeat of cases like property developer DLF which was penalized by SEBI last year for disclosure problems around its record 2007 listing. Over 70,000 crore rupees of approved offer documents have either been withdrawn or lapsed in the last 5 years, the officials added. India's stock market soared last month, touching record highs thanks to more than 16 billion dollars of foreign investment. However, the boom has failed to translate into many IPOs, which is a vital source of capital, especially for smaller companies. The problem for smaller firms is tougher, as many are struggling to raise funds from banks offering expensive loans. But for a handful of larger companies, the alternative is to raise cash abroad. Satellite TV company Videocon D2H withdrew its pending IPO prospectus last month after waiting for two years to go public. Instead, it listed itself on the Nasdaq through a reverse takeover.